What's up Guardians, it seems Bungie made a discrete update to their roadmap, from faction rally improvements to crystal labs. If you played Rocket League you will know that these are experimental game modes and maps potentially that may or may not be integrated into the playlist based on player feedback, two year one triumphs and weapon randomization and more. If you found this video useful, a like would be greatly appreciated and if new, Subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell as well as that's how you stay up to date on all things channel related. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, coming in the immediate future is the May 29th 1.2.1 update. This will bring about the much needed fashion rally improvements. I would also say it's a safe bet that with these improvements we will get our first fashion rally. Along with this we will be getting what is called Crucible Labs. If you played Rocket League you pretty much should know what this is, but for those that haven't, it's essentially a test server that we will connect to that will have new PvP experimental game modes and possibly modified maps for us to test out. Based on our feedback, if the mode is good, then it will have a good chance to make it into the actual playlist. If not, it gets scrapped and they replace it with new ideas. Finally, on May 29th we get our first of two exotic armor sandbox changes. If the exotic weapon updates are anything to go by, I'm expecting some really cool stuff from these. I also expect with the twipe this week, and over the course of the next week we will see more footage of these updates. Interestingly enough, things only seem to get better for Bungie and the player base. In July we get a seasonal event called Solstice of Heroes. Nothing else is known in terms of information, so expect more news on this in the coming weeks. However, if it's anything like the Crimson event, it can't be bad, right? I just hope it's a PvE event and not a PvP event. Bounties are making a return though their way of working isn't provided. However, if you remember a video I made quite some time ago that actually got astronomical views, which I appreciate, I listed potential ideas. However, I do feel these will provide the player with tokens for the planet that they will be dispatching enemies from and XP for their prototype engram progress. I don't really see much more use for these other than that, so hopefully this is the base minimum we can expect from the return of bounties. Additionally, they could also tie Masterworks cores onto these to give it a bit more incentive to get them done, although the engrams themselves will pretty much be incentive enough. If they even go as far as making this a milestone, then maybe doing 5 bounties over the course of a week or 10 bounties over the course of a week will yield you a powerful engram. We will finally get to experience the prestige layer rates for both Eater of Worlds and Spiral Stars which was just released with the Warmind update. Year 1 Triumphs are returning from the Golden Age of Destiny 1. If anyone has played Destiny 1, they will know exactly what these books are all about and the absolute brilliance that they bring with them. I'm really excited for this and I really hope it's every bit as good as I expect it to be. In Destiny 1, these were pretty much what you spent a lot of your time doing when you had downtime. Outside of raids and strikes, this book was what you was going to for objectives and challenges and as you did unlock these and as you completed the challenges within these, you had a progress bar on the first page which unlocked different ornaments, different rewards for you to have. So I'm really looking forward to this. July will bring the conclusion for the exotic armor sandbox changes and finally clan text chat on PC will finally be a thing. You would think that would be enough, but no there is even more updates coming. These however are penciled in for year 2 season 1 in September. We will be getting gear collections, records which I believe will be a differing form of year 1 trance but in the same vein, weapon slot changes say hello to special weapons guardians, weapon randomization which I am 99% sure will be through mods 2.0 and not random rolls. I simply cannot see them bringing random rolls back to Destiny 2 this late in the day. Possibly for Destiny 3 though, I can see this happening. Finally, as with all new major expansions, we can expect new gameplay modes. This is likely the mode every streamer and YouTuber that went to the summit has been mentioning that they can't talk about, and it is something unique and never done before but amazingly fun. Take that as you will. Personally, I'm really excited for the Triumphs. 
records, exotic armor sandbox changes. In fact, I'm genuinely excited for literally every single item on that list, with the exception of the clan chat for PC, because, well, I don't play on PC. I have a feeling we may yet see a few more additions to the July update, despite it being rather meaty, it's clear Bungie are intent on winning the player base back, and in all honesty, based on this new roadmap on the back of the very successful Warmind expansion, they have every bit of chance in pulling it off. They brought me back, and I feel those that have yet to give it a try, really should. Based on this roadmap, it seems there will be many, many goodness to come from Team Bungie. Very exciting indeed. What do you all think of this roadmap update? I think it's pretty awesome, but what about you? Has it gotten you excited, interested in coming back? If you are back, how are you finding the Warmind update? Are these the type of updates you're looking for? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching Guardians. I have hit 500 subs. I know compared to other channels this is tiny, but to me this is monumentous. It's incredible. So in my next video, I will be having a giveaway to celebrate 500 subs. Thank you so much for the continued support everyone. It means so much to me and I really, really, really appreciate it. Remember Guardians, you have all become legend. Now remain legend.